Hi guys, Oliver Eaton here, and welcome to BBC Predictor Predictions here on Oliver Eaton. We're going to start in usual fashion, starting off with the results from last week, seeing where the table is, and then making WEG 5 predictions. So the results is our personal best, 90 points. It's all, all together we've got uh, one exact score and five correct results. That's a 60% point ratio to games. Here's where the points were distributed. Uh, we had the big 40 coming from Leicester v Chelsea. All the scores that are my predictions, and obviously you know the scores. Uh, we've got 10 points from the West Ham game, Burnley game, Everton game, Man City game, and Arsenal game as well. So we're going to do our... Uh, in fact, no, let's see the Eton League 2 first. So here it is. You could join it. Hello is taking on top spot still by 5 points. We've got James Bond and Malot Tan who did an absolute brilliant week. DJ Terry making it up. My dad is down into 7th with Earl now away FC. Then it is me in currently joint 15th with my brother Corn Athletic there on 260. Here's week 5 predictions. The big South Coast derby. I believe Brighton to win this game 2-1. I am go. I believe this game is going to be a big test for Bournemouth to see whether they could get points. Failing this and to get this score may not be a good season for Bournemouth at all. Crystal Palace v Southampton. I believe it's going to be 1-0 to Crystal Palace now. They've got Roy Hodgson now in charge. I think maybe this quick change of momentum may prove good. Southampton have been struggling this season. Picked up a couple of points. Not being the best. Huddersfield time v Leicester. I'm going to go a 2-0 win against Leicester. Now Huddersfield, you know my team. I didn't think we were going to beat West Ham. And you know, momentum may be thing. But we need to sort stuff out. I think Leicester, they're a good side. Uh, they should be getting more points. 2-0 I think is probably reasonable. Liverpool versus Burnley. I'm going to go 2-1 Liverpool. Liverpool obviously lost 5-0. I don't think many people predicted that. I think though they're against Burnley who have been not bad against big teams so far this season. I think they will get the one goal due to the defence problems at Liverpool. But I think 2-1 is reasonable. Newcastle to continue their winning streak against Mike Hughes' side. 2-0. Now to be fair to Stoke, they did well to get a draw against Manchester United. And maybe I've underestimated them here. Uh, but I think the Tyne side will win this game 2-0 with the home advantage. Watford have had a good season so far and you know this score is a little bit debatable and is a risk but I think 3-2 to Man City. Man City obviously the stronger team but Watford have had a brilliant start and could get a lot of goals here just like they did against Liverpool but then again Liverpool have a poorer defence. The West Derby 1-0 uh, to West Brom. I'll be now I'm going to be honest I think I predicted West Brom to win every game 1-0 so far uh, and and West Ham, they were lucky to get a win against Huddersfield. They didn't play all too well, but uh, hey-ho, it's 1-0. Tottenham v Swansea, I believe, is going to be 2-0 to Tottenham. Yes, I'm predicting for them to break the duck at home. I think Swansea, you know, they've got Sanchez, but I don't know if he's going to turn up and be proper player at all. So I'm going to say 2-0 to Tottenham. Uh, if there was a way, I'd probably say more. The first of the big London derbies, Chelsea v Arsenal. I'm going to go straight away and say 3-0 Chelsea. I think Arsenal, very, very weak. This could be a massive game for Arsene Wenger. Chelsea, I think they're on a good form now. They are picking up some wins now, and I think this will be good. Now, this could be causing a lot of debates. I'm going to say 4-0. Normally, these games have... A weird scoreline. We have seen weird scorelines. I think Everton, they're just somewhat wrong with them. Man United, they should be on fire. 4-0. All right, I'm going to leave you on those. Make sure you comment down below or join us in the league. Also, check out the Twitter, Oliver Eaton YT. I'll see you in the next video. See you later.